Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th, I think. But the timing is fluid, the date really doesn't matter, okay? So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the 24th? Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a union. It's a partnership that is very compatible. Seeing eye to eye. You take a look at that. Doesn't that look nice? This is like beautiful, right? It's a beautiful connection. It's love or it's um, mutual admiration, put it that way. Both of these people really, really admire each other, right? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is, is working hard, putting in a lot of effort, creating, creating something. Creating a harmonious partnership or a union or whatever it is. There could be some flirting going on as well. But this is definitely putting in effort, trying hard to create something, working hard. Somebody's putting in a lot of effort. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, yikes, yikes. King of Pentacles reversed. Ah, Whew. This is ungrounded. There's a lack of grounded groundedness. We may have some emotions that are all over the place. Okay, just saying. unstable something may be slipping away there's some sort of instability here it's interesting because the two of cups is two people and we have two people here that are probably it's interesting because this is a perfect match obviously but there's a lot it, both of these people are well they have a lot in common obviously we have two people that have a lot in common, both extremely stubborn. Very similar characteristics, very similar. Both of these people are extremely stubborn. both more focused on money it looks like more focused on money than love that's what it, i mean hey this is not realistic it's not practical it's like i feel like we have two people that may be losing each other because of their stubbornness this is a perfect match there's a need to put in effort not not putting in effort both these two more focused on their money more focused on their career more focused on their job what is going on here this is very unstable so there's something here that is unstable it's not stable it's not secure both these people may have insecurities about themselves you know insecurities we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here uh, it doesn't have to be but
focusing more on work than the partnership or than a partnership. Oh, now the King of Pentacles is upright. So that is a hard worker. So I think we have somebody here that has been neglecting something. They've been too focused on maybe themselves. I mean, King or Queen of Pentacles in reverse, very self-centered. Get the tower on the bottom. What we don't see coming is a major shakeup, a major change. So there is a major change that is coming. Somebody's about to put in effort. They're about to put in effort because now the King of Pentacles is upright. This is a hard worker. This is somebody that is very practical, that has the skills to bring success, golden opportunity. Putting in effort into a partnership. We do have a, 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 I feel like it's a masculine energy that is about to start putting in effort. This person wants something solid, wants something stable. But stubbornness and unrealisticness and, oh, I think it's stubbornness mainly, has been holding these two people back. But I feel like there's going to be some sort of well, that Two of Cups looks like happiness. It really does. Well, <laughs> what you don't see coming is a major life change. It's a major change. It's a shakeup. It's a surprise. Get ready for a surprise. Expect the unexpected. Eight of Swords reversed, an obstacle is being removed. Somebody has been restricting themselves, right? They're, they've been confining themselves, they've been playing it safe. They're about to step outside of their comfort zone and do something very practical. This is, some, this is a planner, okay? The King of Pentacles plans things, doesn't run and jump into problems, okay? This is somebody who thinks before they act. So we definitely have somebody here that is removing an obstacle. Maybe the obstacle was fear or fear of change because eights are change and so isn't the two. Because we have two, eight, eight. Both change, okay? So we have somebody here that has been held back held holding themselves back restricting themselves because of well usually the eight of swords is fear but this person has obviously been thinking they were choosing not to see an opportunity because they were playing it safe but there's obviously a deep connection here these two people have a lot in common a lot like a lot it is it's a perfect match, okay? Queen, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, I mean, this is absolutely, positively a perfect match. And you can see it in the Two of Cups. It's a perfect match. Somebody may have, if, if this is brand new, if you haven't met this person yet, you may meet this person through your job, you know, through your work. Pentacles upright going right next to the king of pentacles unbelievable ace of wands new start fresh start just go for it this is exciting this is a match it's a match it's a sudden desire to come together it really is a restriction is being removed. Somebody's, maybe both these people are going to put in effort now. Now they're both upright. They go from being not practical, not realistic, not grounded, more focused on everything than a relationship to turning it right around. Okay, things get turned right around. It's a shock. It's a surprise. This is a, this is a surprise. 
with a tower. This is, this is a spark. This is a desire. It's a sudden desire. This is a match. It is a match. An obstacle is being removed. Somebody has been holding themselves back, choosing to stay in this mental prison, but this is like getting, getting grounded, getting grounded, grounded. Oh, we just moved into Virgo season. Oh, that's what this is. This is all about stability. It's all about security. It's about being practical and, and being real. It's coming out of, you know, the craziness. No offense. Okay, this is about stability. It's about security. It's about having something to hold on to that is real and solid and stable. These two people have a lot in common and they have both have that, that ace of pentacles in their hands. So we have two people that are definitely coming together that probably haven't been seeing eye to eye. You think about Leo season, which is a fixed sign. All the fixed signs, which Taurus is as well, but anyhow, do not, um, they're stubborn extremely stubborn but this is Virgo energy it really is this is about working hard putting in a lot of effort somebody is and I think we have two people here that are going to be working together after there has been some sort of restrictions this is the restrictions being removed this is exciting it is this is like wow it is wow is definitely my this is a this is this 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 is like a new passionate beginning it's exciting extremely exciting this is a spark it is a, it could be a instant this could even be an instant attraction instant it could also be a new sexual partner whatever this is this is a sudden desire to uh do something to take action so action is going to be taken these two people are a match they're going to be working together creating a foundation they are because the eight of the eight of pentacles is about creating and the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles are they create foundations. These are both hard workers. It could be business owners. Both these people are very business oriented. Very much focused on their money and their abundance and their work. I mean, these both of these people are goal oriented. They are. They're focused on their abundance and they both know their value. They both have a lot to offer and they know it. Three of Swords. Three of Swords is pain. It's heartache. It's grieving. Somebody's been grieving. It's heartbreaking. They've been held back by fear with the Eight of Swords reversed. Maybe protecting themselves from a broken heart. Oh, I'll get my heart broke. You know. Eight of Swords is about self-protection. It really is. I don't want to break my heart. I don't want to break my heart. Three of Swords is about heartbreak. It is heartbreak. A restriction is being removed. Stepping outside. Stepping outside of this prison. Stepping outside of this mental turmoil. Breaking free. Breaking free from something. Putting in effort. What is this Three of Swords? Page of Wands reverse. This is a negative Nelly, right? This is bad news. It is a setback. It is a loss of focus, a loss of drive, mean words. I feel like somebody may have said some mean words. There may have been some mean words that were said.
mean, the page of the page of wands reverse is a setback. Somebody has been fearful of getting their heart broke. Oh my goodness gracious. Because the page of wands reverse is fearful. Could also be somebody who is smug. You know, this person is smug, you know, whatever. Childish, immature. Negative, negative thinking. And there is negative thinking here. Somebody has been in a negative thought process. Bad news. Judgment reversed, poor judgment call. Somebody made a poor judgment call. They were unaware of the connection or they were unaware of the opportunity. I feel like somebody was, was given a golden opportunity that they were unaware of. That's a lack of awareness. There's a lot of self-doubt here and, and, a, and a lack of self-confidence as well. That may be what held somebody back. There's some sort of self-doubt here, you know, doubting somebody and they, because we had them both reversed. This is like not practical, not qualified, inadequate, feeling, feeling because the eight of swords is about thoughts. So somebody was restricting themselves and may have thought they weren't good enough or something like that not taking any action because of fear, too much doubt, doubting, doubting their value, doubting their worth. But I do believe there's going to be a change. I do. Judgment card, it reversed, is a poor judgment call. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. They may have been with somebody that they were not compatible with, with the page of so, uh, wands reversed. That's like probably somebody they're not compatible with. There may have been a little bit of an age difference which caused them to, uh, you know, there just wasn't so as much compatibility which caused some sort of broken heart. Or moving on from that bad choice. expressing feelings somebody is going to be expressing their feelings or they're going to be opening up their heart i feel like they were held back by fear of getting their heart broke or or a suitor that wasn't well suited for them and they may have been not practical waiting for a reconciliation with the suitor that isn't well suited for them but there's a deep connection here that somebody has been restricting themselves from where there's going to be i feel like it's a reconnection or it's a connection it's like a a new connection There's definitely somebody here that is heartbroken or they've, they've I got something in my, on my, I'm sorry. There's somebody here that was heartbroken. I feel like I had a hair on my eye. It's still there. I was tempted to get it out of there. But anyhow, um, page of wands reversed. That is a bad news. It is, is being held back. Somebody has been held back by fear. They have. But this is like breaking free from that fear, putting in effort. Because this connection is so strong. It's a perfect match.
the world. Major completion of a cycle. This is success. Leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. Stepping into new territory. Going the distance. Le lesson learned. This is the end of a phase. It's the end of a project. This is somebody that is leaving the past behind. And the, the, the judgment reverse is clinging to the past. Somebody has been clinging to the past, something that has broken their heart, which has restricted them from moving forward. The fear of getting their heart broke again, but now it's like I'm leaving it behind. I'm stepping into new territory. This is this is going with the flow. It's accepting that something is, is over. And there's been a lack of acceptance, but this is the end, okay? This is the end of a journey. It really is. This is the end, the very, very, very end. This, there's also some sort of public recognition here for a job well done. So somebody may be getting some public recognition. They may be unaware that this public recognition is coming. Unaware that they had a lesson to learn from somebody that wasn't well suited for them. reversed so somebody has been over committed to something they've been going back and forth they've been struggling with change they had no plan of accepting a new offer but the offer was dropped in their lap It was dropped right in their lap when they, they weren't even looking for it. And now, you know, once they got that offer, they didn't know what to do with it because they already had their hands full. And I feel like there's been some sort of indecision. There's been a lack of acceptance of truth. There's been some sort of denial. Somebody has been... Uh, struggling with breaking free from some sort of something they've been tied to or trapped in. But I feel like they are breaking free or they have chosen now to break free because they're ready. They're ready, ready to step into that new life, leaving it all behind. Letting something go. Somebody is definitely, because we go from the two of pentacles where this is a choice, right? It's a choice between two. Letting something go choosing one or the other. So somebody has been going back and forth with a choice. Now they're letting something go. I think it's unplanned. Something was dropped right in their lap. It's like a golden opportunity was dropped in their lap and they weren't even looking for it. It was just, here it is. It's a perfect match. This is a perfect match. Suddenly, with that Ace of Wands, this person has been struggling with change. They've been struggling with breaking free from whatever it was that they were tied to. But I feel like that's over because the world card is that's over. It's over. I'm partnering up with somebody. Somebody's going to be partnering up with, a, with, with somebody that they have a lot in common with. Probably even the same color hair. Maybe the same element as well, like earth and earth, or it could be earth and fire as well. It doesn't have to be the same element, but there's, there's the same color hair, I feel. We're close. It's interesting that I, met, I mentioned the fix, so, fixed signs because they're on that world card. This is, this is things that are changing. Don't don't think you're fixed in this in in your past, okay? This is letting go of the past. It really is, okay? And, and I think somebody has been fixed on the past, 
but that phase is over the past is gone okay the past is over it's stepping into a new world stepping into a new life right it's a uh, completion a major completion letting go of something choosing one choosing one this person has been struggling with change which we already mentioned about a partnership but the decision is now being made they had no plans of this being dropped in their lap but it was unaware that this and I mean the judgment next to the world that's unaware that There's a new life, unaware that there's a new beginning, unaware that a cycle is over. You know, that's a lack of awareness, having a hard time accepting the truth. I also feel like we have somebody here that has been held back. They may feel guilty or they may, may feel ashamed for wanting that new life. Don't feel ashamed, okay? Do not feel ashamed because everything does happen for a reason. Step forward. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, focus on your future. Somebody is definitely going to be focusing on their future. They're leaving the past behind. And they are going to be partnering up with somebody that is a perfect match. This may be a work partner. It could be a work partner. This could be, these could be two people could, could start a business together. These are both business oriented people. Okay, these two people have skills, very similar skills, okay? They, they have skills and they can build, they can build a foundation together. Probably both workaholics, or they both work a lot. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords, Reverse. Ten of Cups about happiness. This is a spiritual blessing. This is a happy relationship. Four of Swords, Reverse. It's extremely tired and fed up. You know, sick and tired. Sick and tired. Somebody is sick and tired of being in the situation that they've been in. They've been isolated. They've been feeling empty. They've been feeling alone. They just want a relationship. They want happiness. This is like a new life. Starting a new life. Somebody is starting a new life. They may have also received some poor advice from somebody that told them to stay in the situation that they were in. Maybe it was a father or a mother, and I'm just, I'm just being honest, or just somebody else, somebody that they worked with. Maybe it was a colleague. I do believe that somebody received poor advice to stay trapped in the situation that they're in, to stay put, to not open themselves up. That's poor advice. Somebody hasn't been answering the higher call. They were not awake, but I feel like we have a major change here because we got this person that just, I feel like it's very sudden. You know, I want my happiness. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to die alone. I don't want to do this alone. on higher power believe have faith God listen to your gut somebody is being brought together from a higher power this is a, there's a higher power involved here listen Pay attention to your gut. This is, this is commit yourself. Commit yourself to the higher path. Believe. Have faith. Somebody may be dealing with Taurus. We have Scorpio. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. Um, we have everybody. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't really matter. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Listen. 
listen. Listen to the messages that you are receiving. This is divinely guided. This is this is a direct connection to God. Okay, we have we. It's like a higher power is has brought in or is bringing two people together. This could be even be marriage. It could have a, we could have two people that are going to end up getting married. Break free, break free. I put that right over the Eight of Swords reverse. Break free from your fear. Don't let that hold you back. Good luck. 